Hello everyone, I am Robert. And today we are doing Santa Maria Green Science Think It. We will be doing lesson four today titled Sounds You Can See. So, Robert. Yes. Can you see sound? No, that is a good question. Ah, do we see sound or do we hear sound? Oh, we hear sound. Ah, so if I want to see sound, what can I do? That is a good question. Mm -hmm. Let's find out together. So you guys, when we talk, our voices produce sound waves. We cannot see these sound waves, but sound waves are there. And let's see what happens when we put the sound waves on an object. So today we will need four things for our experiment. Number one, styrofoam. Number two, scissors. Number three, balloons. And number four, a funnel. And bonus tool, chopstick. Mm. Okay, so what we are doing today is we will cut up the styrofoam into small pieces. Then we will put the pieces into a balloon using the funnel. And last, we will inflate the balloon and talk into it and see what happens. So, Robert, what will happen? Oh, I believe that our cut up pieces of styrofoam will move. Why? Good question. I believe and I think that our voices create sound. And with the sound, we will able we will be able to see the star styrofoam move inside our balloon. Okay, so let's begin. First step everyone, we will use our scissors to cut the styrofoam pieces into very, very small pieces. This is important, you guys, they have to be small. If they are too big, they will not move. So, small pieces, and we will cut, 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 cut into our funnel, like so. We have prepared our pieces early for the purposes of this demonstration. So, once your pieces are finished, we have our pretty, pretty styrofoam in this cup. Second step. We will take our balloon and our funnel. We will attach the funnel to the balloon and we will pour the pieces slowly into the funnel, a few pieces at a time. If they get stuck, we can use our chopstick to push them in like so. Once, we will do some more, just to make sure. Slowly, slowly, slowly. How you doing, Robert? I am doing fantastic, thank you for asking. Oh, good. Yeah. So, slowly, 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 put them in the balloon. You think that's enough, Robert, or more? Um, I think so. It looks pretty good. Okay. I was able to put all mine in without a hitch. Yeah, okay. I'll try. A little bit more. Yes. Yes. Here we go. Final product should look like something like this. All the little pieces are inside, okay? Mm -hmm. Ooh, looks perfect. Trying. This is why we gotta go slowly, you guys, mm -hmm. so they don't get stuck like this. So I think that's enough. Ooh. So our third step is we blow the balloon, inflate it, and then tie it with your mouth. So you can use your mouth or you can use an air pump. What would you like, Robert? Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and use my mouth. Mm -hmm. That'll be easier for me. Okay, so. We will carefully inflate a balloon. Okay, good enough. Let's go ahead and tie them out. Yeah. Getting ready for this awesome experiment. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at that. How fun. How fun is this? Okay, so finished products, we have our inflated balloon with the styrofoam pieces, like so. And now, we will speak into the balloon. Do you want to go loud voice or quiet voice first? Oh, let's do quiet voice Quiet first. voice, so let's whisper you guys and see what happens, ready? Hello. 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 Hello, Hello little pieces. Hello. Robert, were your pieces moving? Uh, no, I didn't. I believe I did not see them move at all. Mm, me neither. Yeah. Okay. Let's try 
Big boy voice, ready? All right. Loud voices. All right, Three, let's do two, it. Two, one. Hello. Uh, uh, Hello. Hello. Oh Hello. yes. It's a new I believe they moved. I know they Right? Moved. I know they Amazing. moved. Amazing. So, Robert, why did the pieces move? Oh, good question. I believe that the sound of my voice produced waves that move our little mm. pieces. Was it the air, Robert? Were you blowing? No, I was definitely not blowing to the balloon. Exactly. So, once we finish the demonstration and the experiment, then we can move on to the questions. For example, what happened to the pieces of styrofoam in the balloon when you spoke? What happened? Oh, they moved. Mm -hmm. They jumped around everywhere. Exactly. And when we used our loud voices, when we talked really loudly, did the pieces move less or more? Oh, they definitely moved more. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So the pieces moved because of the air from my voice or the sound waves? The sound waves. Sound waves, exactly. So, after we finish I think it, then we can move on to our review questions. For example, styrofoam pieces moved because of the sound, sound wave. Uh huh. You can see the pieces move because the balloon inflates or vibrates. 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 When the balloon vibrates and the pieces move, this is how we can see how our sound waves affect things when we talk into them. And when we speak. Did the pieces jump higher or lower? Lower. Uh -huh. All right, good job. So, once you're finished with the experiment, you can move on, talk about what happened, why it happened, make sure the kids understand that it's the sound wave, not the air. And then we are finished. So, thank you, everyone. Thank you, Robert. Thank you so much, Katie. Mm -hmm. Have a great day. Bye bye. Bye bye.